Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. This is part two. I was going to, in part two, I was going to change this, but uh, because it didn't trace very well, this is your, your slogan here, so they're going to insert something here anyway. So, and the Royal Horse actually came out pretty good, but what we can do while this is still a piece of uh, broken apart, Let's just uh, try to match that because a lot of times, so in all capitals, <gasps> match it with, I'm going to go with Times New Roman and you can, for the one I'm doing it for, you could possibly even get it closer. And then I'm going to hit bold and make it bold. And if you look, it's pretty close. So I'm just going to set it in there, and then I'm going to nudge it out of the way. And then I'm going to grab the other one, and I'm going to delete it. Now I'm going to go into, well, you can keep those curly skews, but uh, let's just delete that. Now I'm going to take the royal horse and put it up. So I've retyped it, and it's perfect. Uh, your slogan would go here. Now, but it's not said it's perfect but it's not perfect so from here on out I am going to group this together control G very important to go P and put it at the center of the page you're going to want it in the center of the page to clean it up first of all I'm going to clean up the horse a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and uh, ungroup it again and while we got it like this, I'm going to nudge that out of the way because I don't need to do anything to that. I don't need to do anything to the parts of the horse with the exception of one little cleanup right there. And maybe right in, right here and right here. So by clicking this, I'm going to hit delete. And look at that, how much sharper that is. How much better that is. And you could make it a little bit narrower by... Um, doing that and you could you know the main it might need to look like that and there's a couple of spots maybe I'd no you don't want to do that but you could also if you have x7 or above you can use the smoothing tool and I've got it way too big it's so big I can't even see the circle so make it like 0 0.25 yeah. my number is not much lot enough my then lot there we go. So now it's quite a bit smaller. Go to that part you want to clean up. Let's just say right there. Get the smoothing tool and just hit it. You know what? It must be part of a group. So let's ungroup it for a second. Now I'm going to break the curve apart. And then hit it. And look at that, how it cleaned that up. And that looks pretty good. Now with the exception that we lost his eye. So what we can do, let's try this. Let's see if his eye is still there. We can left click, right click, there's his eye. Now, because we broke the curve apart, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the brown for right now and we can very easily turn it black by left clicking. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Take all this and I'm going to left click, right click. So now we just have an outline. And I'm going to look at this and see which one is the worst. And they're about even, so I don't really care. I'm going to take a two point line. I do this a lot for so people that watch my videos a lot will know what I'm doing. I'm just going to say that this is the worst side. I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete all this. Make sure you get it all. Okay. Now all we have to do is, is go through and let's delete the inner parts of the lines that are going to cause us some problem. I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. And we're going to actually, actually I can go ahead and delete this because I do not like that triangle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of clean up 
this triangle or shape. And I tell you what we can do, let's try this. Let's select it all, right click and turn them into lines. Look at that. Now, that doesn't look perfect to me. So what we're gonna do is take the shape tool and you gotta remember it's at an angle and you just kind of play with the, make it a diamond shape. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and turn this into a line. Wow. Now what I can do is actually take this shape. If I could grab it. See, I'm grabbing the other part. Um, so what we can do is select all that. It must be a break curve apart. There we go. A lot of times if you have that problem. So I'm going to make a duplicate of that. And I'm going to move it over here. And I'm just going to slightly, slightly tweak it. All right, that's done. We're going to go ahead and get rid of our get rid of any interior line. Whoop, went too far, and that wouldn't have really mattered. See, the interior lines are just not necessary. They were shades of color in the original picture. And I'm going to go ahead and do this whole graphic. I don't know why that does it every once in a while. So if you're not interested, um, just uh, quit watching or fast forward. Uh, a lot of people that do videos pause it, and I, I've never really, tr never, re never really tried. And I just figured if people want to watch the whole thing, they can watch the whole thing. A little bit time consuming, uh, but it's really worth it in the long run. This is a little bit hard call, but we're going to go ahead and just do this. And see, there's an exterior line that we don't need because these are other parts. And you just kind of got to use your imagination. What is what? Like there's a little bit of a line right there. And you could, you know, engulf the whole thing. And there's several ways you could do this. Um, once you get a little bit better at it. You can actually use the shape tool to delete stuff. Um, you know, all this needs to go away. And we're going to clean all this up. Clean all this up. So that's one thing nice about Corel. You can always back up if you make a... If you cut something, it shouldn't be cutting. A lot of these lines that I'm cutting that are not disappearing are double lines. Quite possibly that's our broken line. That's why it's going to show you about the shape tool. If you take the shape tool and select that, sometimes this is easier, sometimes it's not. If we do that, we've deleted that wrong line. So that's why I just go ahead and use the delete, segment delete key. This looks a little funny, strange here. Don't really know. I'm going to just make all this. In a way, when you're doing this, you're, you're kind of making your own you know, you're you're either doing this for a customer or, or you're copying it. And this way it's kind of yours. Now you cannot just take all this and turn it black. So we're going to have to use a smart fill tool. And I think we're done pretty well. But before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and use a smart fill tool. So what I'm gonna do is take the Smart Fill tool and fill this in with, let's go ahead and make it black. And Smart Fill that and move it over. Smart Fill that and move it over. So we've got a, a break there, so I'm gonna back up and look at it. Yeah, those are just different components. So it's easier to be zoomed in on the original and don't have to worry about where it's going. So we've got everything but the couple of parts up top in the crown. And watch out, well, there's an interior part we do not need. Watch how much, that's a little bitty line we don't need. Look how much better the diamonds are gonna look. And by doing just half of it, it's gonna be all equal. So now I'm gonna delete this. And I'm not going to delete the line because I'm not touching the whole line. 
So now I'm going to nudge this over and it's right back where it was. I'm going to left click, right click. At this time, I can go and take away my line, but I'm just going to kind of look at it and maybe I won't do the whole part of that. I'm going to delete some nodes uh, just to get rid of some of these a little bit um, uneven spots. And this is a real good uh, way to use the smoothing tool. Now, if I delete that, it's, I could see it had an arrow. So I'm going to just to kind of delete that. There you go. Delete some of these. You can delete on both sides. Uh, maybe I won't do the whole thing because uh, the person I'm trying to help can uh, pretty much figure it out after this. Now, the smoothing tool, I would grab it. If you don't have X7 or above, you could just continue what I'm doing with the shape tool. And you've got to be selected on it. See, I'm up here now, and I can see some nodes. If I go down here, I can't smooth it because I don't have it selected. So take the smoothing tool and select that line. You see the nodes come up. And see how much it really really comes out, but you've got to hit that line. And I mean, I would take a little bit more time than I'm doing, but in just a second, you're going to see how much better this looks. I'm going to call that good. Now I'm going to take away my line and I'm going to grab all this I'm going to control D and while holding down the control button, grab the center double arrow and move it over. Now to make this work perfectly, we need to take away the center line that because we created a line. Now watch the magic. Smart field. Let me zoom in here. I call it magic. It's just, it's fun to see your, uh, what you've done. And when we put that text and that horse back in. Now, remember the whole time that I, what I'm going to do is fill that in and group this horse, control G, and then move it over and bring our royal. I would, I would grade that without worrying about it. Now there's still a little rough spot right there and I would just have fixed it before um, we put it together. But I was just trying to maybe save my viewers some. See, so, you now when you do that, you got another line because you've got the smart field to tool line and the original line. And you could actually do this with, without worrying about um, anything, just get rid of that line. Now, one word of warning, if you're gonna just engrave this, you don't have to do anything. But if you're gonna engrave and then cut a line you know, like a red hairline to cut it out. There's going to be lines in here that your, your laser is going to cut. Um, if we left click, right click, that's a hairline behind there. So what you want to do is make sure, let's put it back to where it was, grab it all, and right click, no out, see it says several outlines, right click, no outline. You, you might have to do them individually. I'm gonna have to get rid of that box. No, it won't do them all. So if you're cutting this later uh, in a combo job, uh, you, you can do two things. You can nudge everything out of the way and, you know, just, you know, either that or, or when you run your combo job, don't run a combo job, uh, run your box later on a separate cut job and either be safe to move your logo 
off the laser bed or off your page and or just select this line. Like my, I have an epilogue and I can select just that line to cut. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.